Today, boys and girls, we will be reading the next two chapters of Judy Moody and Stink and the Mad, 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 Mad Treasure Hunt. We're going to return to Ocracoke Island, which is here in North Carolina, to read more about their adventures as they look for treasures on the island. Chapter 3, Tall, White, and Shiny Bright. Stink was the first one out of bed the next morning. Stink, you're wearing that striped pirate shirt again. Didn't you even take a bath? Pirates don't take baths, said Stink. Here, smell my armpit. Gross, you smell worse than a pirate's monkey on a poop deck. Yar, said Stink. After mom and dad woke up, drank buckets of coffee, and read the newspaper, for a year, they took Judy and Stink to Silver Lake Harbor where the treasure hunt was about to begin. I see it, said Stink, I see the pirate ship. Before them loomed the tall poles of the three mast square rigger for Queen Anne's revenge to. Sails flapped like kites in the wind. Kids and family gazed up at the ship in awe. A ship's bell clanged several times in a row. Just then a pirate swung down on a long rope from the yardum like Tarzan, and landed on the deck with a loud kerplunk, not like Char Tarzan. It was Scurvy Sam. Ahoy, ahoy, all you treasure seekers, he called. Welcome to the third annual Pirate Island Treasure Hunt. The Snup Scout Wags will be five crews in all. Each crew clue will lead you to the next one. When you think you figured out all of, out a clue, Turn it into the nearest assistant pirate. They'd be wearing a red sash and giving out pieces of eight. First one to figure out all five clues and turn in 16 pieces of eight wins the gold double and a ride with me on car two. Scarvy Sam held up a silver piece of eight. I'll be giving you your first piece of eight. The last one is hidden and will be harder to find than a bow tie on a pirate. Everybody laughed. If ye be the one to find it and make haste back to me at pirate headquarters, no wooden nickels allowed. Scarby Sam Cackle. One last thing y'all have until noon tomorrow. When you hear the ship's bell, come on back to see if anyone won the gold. Everybody who joins in goes home with loot. A big old bag of pirate booty. After a lot more ahoys and ass, and hey, Scarvy Sam unrolled a parchment and read aloud the first clue for all to hear. Clue one. Tall as a tree, dressed in white, my bridal veil is shiny bright. Up all night, never sleepy, if I rest, many are weeping. Upon these shores and since days of old, my silent message points to gold. Good luck, Tease. May ye have strong winds at ye back. Only village rats for enemies and a barrel of fun. Let the plunder and begin. Judy and Stink said goodbye to Mom and Dad. Dad and I are going to the beach. If we don't see you before noon, we'll meet you in front of Barnacle Bob's hot dog stand at 1230, Mom said. Have fun, said Dad. Stink and Judy pushed their way through the crowd. Past the big bald man with a small boy on his shoulders. Past the lady with three dogs. Past the twin kids with popsicles. When they got to the front, scurvy Sam was handing out the first piece of eight and the first clue. A girl with braces stepped on Stink's foot while reaching for a coin. Stink, don't look now. It's tall boy and smart girl. The ones from the fair yesterday. Judy cast a squinty eye to look their way. Hurry up, read the clue again, said Stink. We have to beat them. They read the clue three times. As tall as a tree, said Stink. It's got to be the pirate ship. The master is tall as a tree, and sails could breathe the bride theme. They can't be the ship, Stink. No one's even allowed on the ship unless you win the gold. Then, I think it's a flagpole. A flagpole's as tall as a tree. Well, I saw a church in town. 
and it has a tall steeple. And it's white. A flagpole isn't dressed in white. It is if it's painted white, said Stain, like the one I saw in front of the post office. But it doesn't have a bridal veil, said Judy. It does if it's flying a white flag, Stain said. All I know is that churches have brides. Judy was right. Churches did have brides. What a, what a village rat. And you could say churches are up all night, said Judy. You know, they're always open in case people need them. Flagpoles are up all night, too, said Stink. But you take the flag down at the end of each day. Scum buckets, Stink said. Judy was right again. Well, what about weeping? People cry when somebody dies, and the flag is put at half mass. Stink had a point. But people cry in churches, too, Judy said. Like at a wedding, I say church. Flagpole, said Stink. Church, flagpole. Hey, called pirate rule number eight. No fighting, said Judy. That's only aboard a ship, said Stink. I give in, said Judy. Let's go to both places. Winking, blinking, and secret codes. Judy craned her head back and squinted up at the flagpole outside the post office. Stink, this flag isn't white. It's white between stripes, said Stink. Oh, brother, come on. Let's go to the church, said Judy. But when they got to the church, it was locked. Aha, it's not up all night, said Stink. At least it's tall and white and has bride, said Judy. But no assistant pirate with a sash was anywhere in sight. Think, think. What else is tall? Stink looked up and down and all around. He saw a lighthouse sticking out of the trees. The lighthouse is tall. And painted white, said Judy. And has a light that shines bright, said Stink. And it's up all night, said Judy. And if it stops, ships will crash into the rocks. To the lighthouse, said Stink, pointing the way. The lighthouse stood tall, blinking in the sun. Stink squinted to read the plaque. The lighthouse is so old. And I said, Judy, it's almost 200 years old, said Stink. I know, this lighthouse is so tall, said Stink. I know, it's like 75 feet tall. I know. King Kong was only 25 feet tall. I know, you can see the light if you're 14 miles away at sea. I know. They used to have to light it like a candle wick in whale's oil. I know. Every lighthouse has its own pattern of blinks, so the ships will know where they are, said so Stink. I, what? Judy asked. Some of them use Morse code. Didn't you know, asked Stink? No, I didn't know lighthouses blinked out a secret message in Morse code. Rare, said Judy. Stink, you're a genius. So how do we find out the next clue? Stink asked. Judy wasn't listening. She was watching tall boy and smart girl talking to a park ranger. A park ranger wearing a pirate sash. Let's go talk to that lady assistant pirate. The park ranger had curly short hair and a smoky the bear hat. She smiled at Judy and Stink. What's the password she whispered? Um, what else? They whispered at the same time, you just turned five pieces of eight. Five? The ranger reached into a bucket and poured coins into Stink's hand. They jingled all the way. Stink dug into his backpack, pulled out a shiny red pouch, and tied it to his belt. This'll be for all our pirate booty. I have, we have six already. You better guard that booty with your life, said the ranger. There'd be pirates all over these parts. And she handed them the next clue. Judy and Stink sat on driftwood log and opened the clue. It's in Morse code, said Stink. Morse code? Oh no, we don't have a clue what that means.
Who said Stan creeching under his survival backpack again? Shh, said Judy. Spies on deck, spies on deck. You have the map, they heard tall boy tell smart girl. Where's the library? The library, Judy whispered. Good idea, let's go. Stink held up a spiral notebook with Morse code on the cover. You have Morse code in your survival kit, Judy asked. You never know when you might get marooned on a desert island like Gilligan's Island and have to send out rescue signals. Stink, have I told you lately you're a genius? Stink friend, you yeah, just did. But tell me again. Judy looked at each letter of the coded message, writing them down in Stink's notebook as she found them. What is it? What does it say, Stink Pester? Let me finish. It's bad. There said Stink. Blab ear, black bird, black bear. Black beard, screamed Judy and Stink at the same time, forgetting all about the spies. This is where we're going to end today. Tune in tomorrow for the next two chapters of Judy Moody and Stink and the Mad, 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 Mad Treasure Hunt. Have fun.